All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, and I mean wonderful Sunday. I forgot to, um, well, I didn't forget to do the Sunday Retro Classic, so I want to stay on schedule with you guys. But I'm um, going to bring you a quick Sunday Retro Classic. This is one of my favorite games I played when I was young. Um, me and Fred played this a lot when we would go on double dates with girls. We would take him. This was like in like 19, I think this came out in like 92 or 93 or maybe even 91. I'm not sure. But I know we used to go to the arcades and we were young, very young at that time, like late teens. And we would, you know, go on double dates with girls and all that other stuff. And this game always struck me as odd because of the simple fact the dialogue in it was weird. The music didn't fit the game. The way they had Spider-Man walking in it was just weird. But I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. So give me a few seconds to post up to my social media, and I will be right back. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. Let me know, if, whoever's out there, let me know if you can hear the game. Spider-Man. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I hear something. All right, so here we go. This was a classic video game I used to love playing with my boy Fred. We would go to the arcade. This one in Elizabeth. We used to go to, and it was, we used to just have so much fun, man. So much fun. This brings back a lot of memories. A lot of people don't remember this Spider-Man game. Some people do. If you are arcade, if you are arcade um, rat like myself who stayed in arcade and, you know, stuff like that, you remember this game. Not many people remember this. They remember the 
Sega one and the Super Nintendo one, Maximum Carnage, whenever they mentioned Spider-Man. This was made by Sega back in like, I think, again, I know it was in the 90s when this was created, but um, I remember going to the arcade and we would just have so much fun. They had this one, they had the X-Men game, the Captain America and the Avengers game. They were just whoring themselves out at that time. So here we go with some gameplay. You know, it's been a while since I played it. I put it on Infinite Energy and stuff like that. Spider-Man. So you could just have a whole bunch of health and stuff like that. We are going to play with Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Huh. Spider sense tingling, signaling danger. Trouble up ahead. Let's go, Spider-Man. Party's over, Scorpion. Hold on one second. Looks a little dull. No, no, it's clear. Let me see something when I hit the pause. Okay, so it's good. Here we go. Here we go. A lot of people may not remember this Spider-Man game. I do. Like they power putties or some shit. Spider-Man walk. I used to always think this was so weird, like, but I love this game, man. It brings back a lot of memories for me. I used to like the way it go walk, 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 chop. And like the dialogue in it was just weird. Good night. Now when you beat him up, he'd be like, "What's going on?" Venom has to be stopped. Venom has to be stopped. <laughs> and when you play this game, now that you're able to play it at home. You saw that these games were just literally made to take your money. You know what? I think Jeff would like to see this. Because he's a big Spider-Man fan like myself. You know, it was so cool because after we would play that, it was like a pool hall and a, um arcade. And after we would play um arcade games, we play um fucking pool and shit like that.
Come on down, big guy. <laughs> Ace has some weird dialogue out here. Like the one I like is when he was like, It would seem that the effects of the Sorcerer Stone have worn off. Some smell off. Strawberry in the house. I don't know. Maybe I'm having a stroke. Walk, 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 chalk. Bok, 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 bok. It would seem, seem that the effects of the, the sorcerer, sorcerer Stone home. have worn off. What's up, Tim? How are you? It would seem that the effects of the Sorcerer Stone... Hey, Tim, do you remember this in the arcade? Go, Spider-Man! Spider Hopefully you guys can hear me. I hope you can hear me. I don't know. If some of you can hear me, put like a yes in the um, chat. Mika, what's going on, baby? Can you hear me, Mika? Oh, okay, she, she said yes, we hear you. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> yeah, but man, me and me and Fred used to have some great times playing this game. We were going it because you can only play this in arcade. They never ported this to consoles. Yeah, it was only in the arcade. They never ported this to um, console, and Sega made it. Because you know, at one time, Sega was the leader in arcade um, arcade games. The lizard. The lizard. Especially if you went to the movie theater and stuff, you were always, there was always some type of Sega game there and stuff like that. Like the music on here used to be like, I, I used to find it so weird. First time I saw this game, I used to love going to boat. Exactly, the our boatcraft arcade had everything. Even the Union Center Mall. Remember the Union um Union Mall, the Union Flea Market, the one up in um Union and stuff like that. That's now the Home Depot. Remember the arcade games at Annie Mae's? Of course I remember the arcade games at Annie Mae's. And then remember she turned one part of it into like the other side into an arcade, but it just didn't last long. My mother used to hate when I go there. She would be like, stop going to that arcade. Somebody gonna kidnap you. I was like, mine ain't nobody gonna take mine. She like, watch your mouth. Yeah, man, you taking it back. Those were like some old days, bro. Animes on Osborne, remember? Did you ever go to Woody's? Yeah, Union Market had very everything in it. Hell yeah. I used to get all my bootleg um, karate films from there and shit like that. What's up, Chokes and Holes? Hey, Chokes, do you remember this game? Joe, do you remember this game? The arcade didn't last because of Troy Hatchet and the crew. <laughs> Troy Hatchet! You remember Hatchet? Wow! <laughs> and the crew. <laughs> I 
I, I, I used to always find it weird how they, how they had Spider-Man walking though. I wouldn't change my childhood for shit, man. I tell you. Really? They used to try to jump me daily. I caught them one off one often. They beat and beat their <laughs> Yeah, Troy was on some bullshit, man. And yeah, they was famous for trying to jump motherfuckers and shit. I live right there on Hunted in between Shepard and Lehigh. Hey, Kenny, you know the strongest character on here was Namor, right? Did you get Moon Rider about to play it after I have a smoke? No, I'm going to grab it up after this. I just wanted to do a Sunday Retro Classic. Scratch one green goblin. Scratch one green goblin. Yeah, them motherfuckers live. So you live right there on 100 in between 100. Yeah, so you was right there by Annie Mays. Huh. Spider sense tingling. Signaling danger. Trouble up ahead. Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm going to grab Moon Rider up in a minute. After I finish this. Up. When you throw the big motherfucker, they hit the ground like boom, boom, boom. I love that turnaround punch where I just sock his ass.
damn, I meant to go down to the second level. Actually, the, these stages were the ones that would eat up all your quarters right here. This stage right here, these like the um, side-scrolling ones. Hey, Kenny, watch when you... I like the way the, um, the king, but he just be like... Mm. This Spider-Man walk like he depressed. Spider-Man has the worst punchy technique. Keeps his foot square together like a kid. Exactly. I hate when the grab technique doesn't work. Spider-Man walks like he's getting off of 10 hours for real. He, he looked tired as fuck in this game. That's what, I think that's what drew me towards this game. Because I was first one, I said, what is this, like a sick Spider-Man or something like that? Like, because he'd be walking through the streets like he just. Well, you do see Black Cat in this, so maybe Black, maybe by this time, what's her name done dumped him. And he depressed Mary Jane. Thank <laughs> you. 
like they power putties or some shit. You can tell this is definitely during the time when Marvel was just like pouring themselves out to anybody. But there was some great um, Marvel coin-op games in the, um, in the 90s and stuff like that. We had X-Men, we had Captain America and the Avengers, we had, uh, X no, X-Men, Captain America and the Avengers, there was another one too. This one, looking up. Other guy played as Nick Fury. Yeah, the Punisher. Yup, Punisher. I played the Punisher for you guys before. What do you think this is doing? Hey, mouse type, what's going on? Look at how Spider Man looked. Now, I didn't mind the art style in here. I didn't, but the way they made Spider Man walk in here, it was just weird. Like, but I did love the way they would make, like, this, like, like this right here. Looks like a hand drawn comic in the background. Trouble up ahead. Let's go, Spider Man. Let's go, Spider Man. Who drew that Spider-Man on the left? Just watch how he walked, though. Bok, 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 bok. supposed to grab him. Single. Somebody said he's built like a divorced single father. Look at that walk though, like that walk is like fuck the world.
punch Lizard right in his mouth from the dick. Get the fuck out of here. You was already caught up in the combo, nigga. You're fighting Hillary. <laughs> I like doing a king baby like Ey! Again, thank you everybody for tuning in to Sunday Retro Classics. Hope you're enjoying the gameplay. Castle Von Doom. That wall of guys throwing plays at you is just designed to eat your core. Exactly! Yup! Yup! And the thing, I used to try to get like, I was exceptionally good at these games and I still would lose sometimes. Cause like with this one, your health would just be counting down, remember? For you to make it through this game, you would at least have to put like $10 in this bitch. And that's with you maybe getting hit, hit a few times. Now, if that was Namor, if you play this with Namor, Namor, you just, his, his, um, electric blast, it's short, but it gets the job done, bro. Like that, that invisible frame shit.
No. Those big guys are greasy. Our main <laughs> Scratch one green goblin. The big, the open shirt's gold chain. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I saw him. Walk, 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 walk. Bok, 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 bok. Bok, 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 bok. Get the fuck out of here. And the web swing is hard as hell to do on here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he just walked right. I was hitting the button too. He just walked up to and shit me with the strip. Tear my ass up with that jet propulsion. Finished, Doom. Dirty trick. Look at that, they just put all sorts of sound bites in it. It was like dirty, but just a whole sturdy trick. That was a little kid's voice. You heard it, right? And you know what? But I did like this, this music right here though. Ding, 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 ding,
I spent so many quarters in this fucking game when I was growing up. When I was younger. Bing, 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 bing. But it would just attract me. I don't know what the fuck it was. I would just always have to play this game sometimes. This jazz cafe music doesn't fit a cat. Exactly! That's what I'm saying! This is where you would lose all of your energy at, guys. No bullshit. Remember when you beat up, um, the music sounds like <laughs> with Cigar Girl? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> That's that Stan Lee shit. You know, he grew up in that era. <laughs> you know, you know that when I, um, when I think about it, right? Hanna-Barbera was racist towards Italians. You know that, don't you? He always made all the criminals and bad guys like with bent noses and they had Italian accents and shit. Like New York Italian accents. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim, do you remember this game? Sure, doll. Give me a pack of luckies. <laughs> <laughs> sure, doll. Give me a pack of luckies. Oh. Come on, calm down. I remember when I first got my Toy Biz action figure, um, the old, the Venom that came with the gel shit. Never I would have him fight Spider-Man, I'd make him throw him and do that boom boom sound. Cause that was due to playing this game. My destiny is mine. This is Martin. Make sure you've got enough quarters to play. Exactly! The, we grew up in the era of quarter munchers. Some of these games, now that I have them on, on, on emulator, you would have never beaten them, no matter how good you were. I remember the gel venom. I got it for birthday. Yeah. Oh, 
I was trying to see like, and right here, they make your buttons not work, no bullshit. Like shit that I'm pulling out regularly, it just won't work. And that's not me being nervous to press buttons or anything. Look at that. And they made, um, they made Namor barrel-chested as fuck on this game, too. <laughs> and you know what, to this day, I still have that, um, Venom gel somewhere. And, like, after a while, it just got hard and it started stinking. He said the Spider-Man art is awful. <laughs> he said it's awful. Presented by Sega Enterprises, LTD. He has birthday. <laughs> what the fuck is birth? Oh, he has birthing hips. Oh, I thought you said birthday hips. So yeah, that was uh, Spider-Man. That's one of the beat-em-ups that once you play through it, you don't really want to go... As much as I love Marvel and stuff like that. Now, the Punisher video game, I will play that over and over again. But uh, this one right here, like I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's more so of the fact because it brings back a lot of good memories for me when I was like, you know, hanging out with Fred and we would run to the arcade and you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. It brings a lot of good memories back. But I mean, um, it wasn't. I wouldn't say it's one of my best beat 'em ups. I think the only reason why I played this was because it had Spider Man in it. Has uh, Sega made much better beat 'em ups than this? Absolutely. I mean, this. But this right here is a classic. You know what I'm saying? It's an absolute classic. Hope you guys enjoy um, Sunday Retro Classics. I'm possibly gonna stream something in a second I think I'm gonna finish up fist remember that game with the robotic uh, with the cybernetic bunny and stuff like that I think I'm gonna finish that up or either play some of it cuz there's a lot of games coming out and once dead space drops I'm going to have to devote a lot of time to it because I'm gonna beat it on every setting for you guys to watch and see so um give me a few I'll be back in then like maybe like 20 minutes and I'll be on basically I'll be on twitch so follow me over to twitch if you guys want to Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for um, all the support and everything like that. I love you guys. Winners. Peter Parker, 5'10", 165 pounds. History bitten by radioactive spider. Watch how they, look how they make Namor look. They, like, they, they, I think they grabbed these designs from, like, like, I would say, like, old men. Because look at the way he, walk, like, looks and walks. Like, he has, like, that big barrel classic chest and shit like that, like. There's also a Breakers collection on Steam. Breakers, Breakers. What's Breakers? What's Breakers? The fighting. Oh, yeah. Breakers. Now I remember. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab that up. How much is it? How much is it? Is it on sale? 
that's one thing I love about PC gaming. Like, there's so many, um, so many sales on, um, PC. But, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this game, this, uh, gameplay of Spider-Man. One of my, like, it, it, it holds a certain sentimental value to me, you know? Times of memory pass, because then, like, because actually when this game came out, this is when Toy Biz kind of, like, started, uh, making action figures. Remember, um, remember Kenny? So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for tuning in. You're the absolute best. I will catch you guys later. Or maybe in like 20 minutes, okay?